Welcome to this demonstration on how to paint ocean waves. I will be using a variety of soft pastels to paint this ocean wave. Today I am using a reference photo from Kim Hogan on a 10 by 20 UART sanded paper. I begin by blocking in the shape of my waves. I've begun with the background wave and I'm applying a darker shade of blue at the lower trough area of the wave. My goal is to define the waves with the light and dark values. Once I have uh, shaded in the entire paper, then I will use an alcohol wash to blend and dissolve all the pigment in the pastel to create a underpainting that I will then apply dry pastels over to finish the painting. I am using a very light cream and light turquoise color at the top of the wave for this is where the sun is shining through the wave as it begins to crest over. The wave will get gradually darker as I move closer to the base of the wave for this is where the shadow is being cast from the wave curling over. I will also block in the beach area with some dark blue and some violet to give the beach some color. I will also add some brown to create a darker colorful shoreline. So now that I've applied some color to my paper and I've defined the shapes of my wave and, and also defined the shoreline, I can begin using an underpainting to dissolve all the colors together. I will be using a 91% isotopal alcohol, uh, it's a rubbing alcohol, to dissolve the pigment in my painting. I'm beginning with the lightest areas first just to keep my paintbrush cleaner. As the pastel dissolves and dries, it creates a solid base for applying more pastel over. It won't smudge or smear my colors together as I begin to paint over it. The colors in the base under painting instead will show through giving the painting a clean and vivid look of real waves. Although the underpainting doesn't look like much at first, it clearly defines the shapes and placement of my waves so it's much like a road map for me to follow as I continue to work on the waves. The alcohol dries very quickly in just a few minutes and I can begin applying more pastel to begin shaping the wave. I'm going to start on the background water first. I am using long strokes of color to create the patterns that you see in the water and the waves. I am blending lightly so not to lose all the texture that uh, the pastel has created. I will use my pastel pencil with a lighter shade of blue to create some of the trails that move with the uh, wave as the currents shift in the water. I'm going to start 
placing some of the trails of foam that are moving up into the large wave just to give it some placement and guideline for me to develop the wave further. I don't want to apply the pastel too heavily at this point. I'm taking it slowly and trying to map out the areas carefully. I'm going to add some gray at the very top of the wave where it's just beginning to crest uh, a little bit. In order to define the wave where it begins to completely curl over, I will use a darker shade of blue, which reminds me of a slate blue, to define the water at this level. I am using this color very sparingly so not to apply too much color all at once. I've added a small amount and blended it with my sponge applicator until it blends smoothly and has a translucent appearance. I will add a little more shading at the top of the wave to define the water that is beginning to crest over and I'll blend it with my sponge applicator. I will continue to add some more color as I follow my reference photo a little more closely. It's starting to come together real nicely and has a nice translucent appearance in the wave. Once the waves are, are nearly done, then I can add some of the white foam that is cresting at the very top and splashing over. I would like to add some more green to the base of the wave to give it a little more fullness. I will also begin developing the shoreline as the waves push the foam onto the shore. So please follow along with some music as I finish the shoreline. Thank you. So now I'm going to begin adding some of the white spray to the top of the wave. I will pull some of this white down into the wave using my sponge applicator. I will take my time to gradually add some light spray to the wave in order not to overdo it and to keep it uh, looking very natural uh, on the wave. I will continue to finish a light layer of the spray and then I, I will come back to it and add a little more once the foreground has been completed with the white foam. I am nearly done with the shoreline. I'll add some spots of white foam and some highlights to the sandy beach. 
I'm going to add some more white spray to the water by using an X-Acto knife and very carefully scraping fine um, particles onto the paper. And then I'm using my glassing paper uh, placed over it and I rub it with a uh, pencil to push it into the grain of the paper. Once complete, I will go back and add some of the last details to the wave and define some of the trails of foam more clearly uh, and this project is nearly done. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration on how to paint an ocean wave and if you liked it please press like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to press the bell icon to receive future notifications of all my new lessons and demos. Thank you for watching.